Hello, and welcome to another edition of Cooking Trials and Errors with Linda and Dwight. Today, I'm going to make a modified mom's meatloaf for you. It's pretty much the same recipe that my mom used, except I have modified it slightly. She used to crush up saltine crackers, uh, whereas I prefer to use some breadcrumbs. Um, I personally choose Progresso plain, but you can use the Italian and other seasoned breadcrumbs. So what I've got here is two pounds of lean ground beef, three eggs, one yellow onion, and three of the small mini bell peppers, one can, 15 ounces of Hunt's tomato sauce, and of course the breadcrumbs. You can use the large uh, bell peppers. You can use green or the colored ones. They're fairly similar. Uh, if you use a large, you may only want to use a half to a whole, depending on how much you like the peppers. So what I'm going to do is mix these up in a mixing bowl, and then I will um, show you my secret to how it's modified. Well, it's modified with the breadcrumbs instead of the saltines, but I have another little secret that I will show you. Here, I've chopped up somewhere between one-third to one-quarter of the yellow onion. I did not use the whole thing. That'd be way too much onions, even though we love onions. And I have chopped up the three mini bell peppers. For fun, I chose a yellow, a red, and an orange. Here are the ingredients I have put into a large mixing bowl. Again, it's two pounds of 93% lean ground beef. I used approximately one-third of the container of the breadcrumbs, three large eggs, about somewhere around a third of a large chopped yellow onion, and I chopped up the mini bell peppers and put it into a large mixing bowl. Here I will thoroughly mix this and then show you what I do next. I've chosen a uh, baking dish a little bit larger than the meatloaf and what you'll do is you'll pat this down into a loaf shape after you thoroughly mix it. Um, I like to keep the edges away from the, the edge of the pan. <clears throat> I think it kind of helps brown them a little bit but I don't know. It makes it easier to get out of the pan, that's for sure. I've already opened up the 15 ounce can of Hunt's tomato sauce. Now, here comes my secret. About one inch from the edge, I will poke a hole somewhere between half, probably closer to two thirds of the way down into the meat. Then about every inch, inch and a half or so, I will poke another hole. And I will do this over the entire top of the meatloaf. What this will do is it will allow the tomato sauce to soak down into the meat. Whether or not it really adds a lot of extra flavor, I don't know, but I call it my secret ingredient. So what I'll do is I'll slowly pour the meatloaf, I mean, uh, excuse me, pour the sauce, make sure that it goes down into all the holes. I will pour about two-thirds of the can of tomato sauce. Then I will go over and add about one-half a can of water to the remaining one-third can of tomato sauce. I will pour it around the edges. And don't worry, there's some extra tomato sauce left in the can when I get to the bottom to put back on the top of the meat. What that does is it will allow the, I think, the meat to stay moist. 
and it will give you a little bit more of the rich tomato gravy which is really good on top of mashed potatoes so what I'm gonna do is bake this for 350 degrees for somewhere between an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes but before I put it in the oven I'm going to add a little bit of salt to the top of the meat and to the sauce and then I will also add some coarse ground black pepper and when it's finished I will show y'all what it is lo looking like I'm being very careful as it is really hot looks pretty good to me However, I think I'll uh, measure it with a meat thermometer just to see how hot it is on the inside. I'll stick it kind of in the middle. All right, 140, 145, 150, 155, 160, 165, 170. Well, medium is 160. Five, I believe so it's not to the well done part but it is definitely done this is what happens when your camera operator is well let me zoom in on that give you a little bit closer look <laughs> 